just tell us something about, about this picture, what we have uh, on screen, um, this game, um, everything that went down in and around this game. Okay, this is, this is, the, this is the game between um, Edo, uh, I think it's the second game in, in, the, in the Group D. Okay. Uh, not much scoring uh, goal in this one, but the guys are using these games to just relax. So most of them have already qualified okay. to, the, to the next phase and everybody just wants to know who they're going to be meeting in the quarterfinals and that's that's the real deal actually you know who's definitely going to see goals when these guys come out uh, and then that's what we okay. we actually saw <laughs> all right let's move on to the next thing interesting um what we're going to do now if you have your pen with you your bio just write down the names that you're going to hear uh austin uh, I i'll give you uh i'll allow you mention these names you always do it with pride you talked about one last year yeah. it's a household household name mm. uh, right now so let's talk about top scorers the guys um scoring all the goals that's it on your screen uh the schools their names the goals they've scored um it's lovely nine eight goals uh at the state from ali sule ali sule actually uh the guys from link crest you should go and tell them thank you because <laughs> he's got seven of his goals of his goals uh, in that game against link crest yesterday uh he's on eight goals is, is in the park alongside james chidi Ebube from kaduna uh yeah yeah by me from focal point is on five goals uh, Rawa Mohamed from Focal Point also is on four goals. Focal Point, I told you, they're playing admirable football this okay. year. Let's see if they can go all the way. Mojid Oyedotan from St. James Government School in Oshobo in Oshun State with four goals also. But everybody is looking towards Ali Sule and James Chidiebube. You know, but with these kids, you can never tell. From tomorrow now, they will put on their best boots and then they will mm -hmm. come out and they are firing from all sides. Quarter final stage, anything could happen. A red card, injuries. Yeah. Uh, a whole lot of things mm, mm. and um, you, you're putting your money on any of these guys to increase the their goal tally yeah i think i think alice today is a good striker uh, yeah yeah by me also from focal point focal point the good thing about this team if you look at even rawa mohammed on four point or four goals they are all playing as a team you know okay. and they're understanding each other uh with every game so they, they can score more but when you score eight in one match and then you're now on eight seven in one match and you're now on eight at least fully uh, all balls to him scored two more goals is on ten he might just go on to win uh at a golden boot but i mean these are kids yeah, i mean when they get the ball they just want to shoot when it yeah. gets into the net they run give you a cristiano ronaldo celebration <laughs> or something that you live to remember okay uh, all right like i said those names keep it in your diary keep it somewhere uh you're gonna hear a lot about them now and in the future and you'll be able, we'll give you, uh, you'll be part of the story. You'll be able to say, I knew this guy uh, when he, I knew this boy, I knew this young man when he played uh, at the Channels National Kids Cup. Something remarkable happened today right. uh, as well, something mm. noteworthy and praiseworthy yeah, as well. That's right. um, a lot of people that, that have made it uh, in sports mm. came, encouraged the kids, told them, look, the, the future is bright for you. Very, very bright. And very importantly, yeah, immediately reminding them that this is the foundation where it should start. The Sports Reform Committee, uh, led by the chairman and uh, Godwin Kenka, and um, the evergreen, I call her evergreen Marion Yali, uh, Colonel um, Sam was also part of the team. The president of Nuga Games was there also. Mm -hmm. uh, for Ty Williams, the president of yeah. um, uh, Aquatic Federation, was there also. And a whole lot of others. They, they, they paid a courtesy visit to the camp of the Channel's National Kids Club gathered the kids, spoke to them. Mary and Yali took the mic and said, do you know where I am? And then for a minute, they were trying to remember. She said, I started just like you, and I went to seven Olympics. And that's the team right there. They spoke to the guys. The kids were excited. They came all out uh, to, to see uh, the sports personalities. They it made them realize that, look, we are the committee in, put in place to reform sports in mm -hmm. this country. And when we see you guys, we're, we're, we're excited. There's hope for the future. And they said, well done to Channels Television for uh, putting together this initiative of catching them young. They saw how excited the kids were, you know, all of them excited in their camp wares. And when Marion Yali started speaking, she said, look, I went to five Olympics. If I had started as early as you guys, I would have gone for seven, eight. I'd probably be the, the, the most yeah. decorated Olympian, right? There you <laughs> go. And th that was good encouragement for, uh, for these guys. So, uh, I mean, it was, really, it was really heartwarming to have the Sports Reform Committee uh, come around to the camp of the Channels National Kids Club. It was fun all the way. Okay. Uh, these guys, they have um, something to go back home, share with their colleagues and in school and also their friends at home that, look, I went to Channels and I, have a li and I had a life-changing experience. I met Marion Yali, I met this, I met that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's something to treasure. Okay, let, let, let's listen to uh, what went down today, um, the encouraging words spoken by some of those people, also Nokon, at my mention and what they said to the kids and um, what they hope 
uh, the future uh, will bring for these um, children. And I want you to keep that in the back of your mind that this is fun that will eventually lead you to the world stadium. All right? This will lead you to the Olympics to get a medal like I did. This will lead you to World Cup to play with the Neymar that you're talking about, the Kanawa Cup, the Okotas, right? But you also need to add your education. Be very, very serious with your education. On top of what we are doing here, and what Channels Kids Club is doing for you, you must be very, very serious. Take your education very seriously. Because if I didn't do that, I won't be able to have the courage to stand in front of you and make the statements that I'm making right now. It gives you confidence, and your parents will forever be grateful and happy. Without you combining the sport and education, your parents most likely will not allow you to come out, isn't it? Yes. So take those two very, very seriously. And I wish you guys all the best. Both, both those that made it to the finals and those that got lifted the trophies or not. But the fact that you were here as part of this kids club, you will excel. All of you. In Jesus name. All right, Mayor Yali there. Mayor Yali Omagwe. Preaching the message um, that has been... Um, that we've been uh, saying all along, combination, mm -hmm. uh, education and, uh, and sports. Fantastic. Fantastic. Lovely. Yeah, Mia, you, you saw the response from the kids. Um, see them smiling, mm -hmm. uh, strong words. She says, as long as you've, you've started this way with the China's National Kids Club, you, so go you, you excel, you know. And uh, she, she told them, look, if I didn't take education seriously, I wouldn't, be here. I wouldn't be here, you know. And that's just so true. You've come across a lot of sportsmen and women, and you're just not impressed with the sort of education they have or when they can't even express themselves. But and even the after life, after sports. Yeah, you know. that's me on, on Yali Omagbe. I mean, five... Olympics, she went. She is a mm -hmm. legend in track and field yeah. in this country, and she is still giving her two cents towards sports development. She's part of the sports reform committee, and now she's understanding the need to go back to the grassroots and catch them young and hear me. That's what we're saying. Uh, at Channels TV, our core function is broadcasting, is journalism, but we also have yeah. seen the need to catch them young. We mm -hmm. have the channel to bring it out in terms of publicity, and we're doing it. And it's a call on everybody to say, look. If we, if we go back to the basics, if we give attention to school sports, back in the day, our sports used to be very admirable yeah. because we went to school sports. And so we want to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting the China's National Kids Club. We'll start with the Sports Reform Committee for stopping by to mm -hmm. give a, a word yeah. of encouragement to the kids. We also want to say thank you because... Um, Edo State Government, they've been supportive. Anambra State Government, Lagos State Government, uh, they've been supportive of the Channels National Kids Cup, the Nigeria Football Federation, they made this competition, an NFF protected tournament. The first vice president was at the draw ceremony. Yeah. They visited. He was part of the screening. Uh, I want to say big ups to Lagos State Football Association also. They always support us with technicalities. Let's also say well done to the United Foods. They love these kids. They're supporting these kids. And also Delhi Foods, the makers of nutri big sweet crackers and cracker classic biscuits you know I mean each time i see these guys and i listen to them even okay for instance what we did today was we caught out a team that have qualified for the quarterfinals and then they're so excited they'll say clap for those guys that didn't qualify for the yeah. quarterfinals and they did that with joy we liked it you know and that's what they were doing right here they're saying well done to everybody I mean, for there, participating there's a lot apart from the football mm. there's the integration the uh, say that again. cultural balance that's I right. mean, you know, you're not ignorant about the values, the morals, people from different parts of the country, uh, what they have. You gain and you learn more. I mean, it, it's, it's very, very good. Very, very important. Yeah, so what, what are we expecting tomorrow? Tomorrow, the excitement, the fun and excitement will continue. Okay. We saw for the four goals today. Get ready. We might be seeing 60 tomorrow. The quarterfinals will be played. That's the real deal. That's the business end of the competition. If you advance on the quarterfinals, you are within touching distance questions at this stage, just questions we're asking. Can Edo move closer to mm -hmm. us retaining the title? The China's National Kids Cup is like the, is like the Champions League. Nobody has Those been able to. <laughs> it back to back. Can yeah. Edo State do it? They're okay. a little bit shaky at the moment. Can they do it? Uh, can Lagos, only surviving team, national, just spring a surprise and make it to the final? We're waiting. All of this, we're just saying to viewers out there, to lovers of grassroots football development, sit back, 
relax and enjoy the action. <laughs> As the way it is, and on Children's Day, uh, just bring your kids. Uh, everybody troop down uh, to where the final will play. Should we say some prayers uh, uh, in case it rain? <laughs> <laughs> no. well, will the games go on back to back tomorrow? Yeah, back to back tomorrow okay. the games will go on, but we will play only the, the quarterfinals tomorrow. Let them, you know, get some. We'll play the semis. Okay. With the semis, you're cool. It's just two games, four teams remaining, and then in the final, the everybody will just come and have fun and find out who the new winner will be. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Snoko I have to thank you. Thank you. I so know much. you're very busy these days, so I'll allow you to take a rest. Uh, not the rest, actually. You continue <laughs> doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's been our man, Osin Okon, uh, Akman, uh, bringing us up to speed with what is happening uh, at the Channel's National Kids Cup. All right, let's invite you to everything that we're doing. I mean, a lot has been said already. So give us your opinion, your thoughts, your views um, on everything relating to sports, especially the Channel's National Kids Cup. And this is the way you can do it. You can... Um, send a mail to us. You can uh, get across to us on Facebook and you can do that on uh, Twitter. Uh, it is at channels underscore sports. That's how you can get your views. Uh, some of your uh, comments already coming in. You can also view all our top stories. It can be found on our website. That's channelstv.com and on youtube.com slash channels web. Uh, you can also visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. Um, you can, you can take a step further uh, to download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores, all in a bid to follow us and um, carry Channels Television with you everywhere that you go and not miss out on anything that we have to offer uh, for you. All right, we'll go on a break right now. We'll allow you to enjoy um, some more action from the Channels National Kids Club. Uh, enjoy the goals, enjoy the mistakes and enjoy everything that you're going to see next. Um, highlights from day three of the China's National Kiss Cup. John Skate.